And Glenn, um, authorities say have not released a motive in this shooting or details on that alleged shooter, but we are getting a closer look at some of the chaos that unfolded inside that restaurant when that gunman opened fire. It's the last place patrons say they expected to come face to face with a gunman. This upscale restaurant in the heart of Beverly Hills that erupted with the sound of gunfire as customers were dining Monday night. I'm so thankful to be alive tonight because I just watched someone get shot. Pedro Portal recorded the frightening scene on his cell phone as he and his business partners were about to leave the restaurant. Four consecutive shots go off. Everybody's scrambling. People are screaming. We run to the back of the kitchen. Man, I hope nobody ever goes through that. Beverly Hills PD arrested this man after the shooting, but haven't provided any details on that individual. It's unclear if he's a suspect who shot this customer who was dining inside the steakhouse. Authorities confirm that victim was last listed in stable condition, but many are wondering why he was targeted. Although the motive for this crime is unknown, we do not believe this is a random act and there is no active threat to the Beverly Hills community. The entrance of this bank right across the street from the restaurant was damaged after a bullet shattered the glass. Right along the sidewalk near that location, authorities collected a bullet casing for potential evidence in this case. Meantime, those who live and work in this community say the shooting has shattered their sense of security given the brazen nature of this crime. It doesn't happen too often here. Uh, we're a very well protected city. Uh, you know, there's 2,000 cameras in town. so. Uh, but not immune to violence like this, apparently. Yes, this is very, very odd and very strange. Police are turning to the public for help. They're requesting that anyone with information in this case immediately contact authorities. That's very latest here in Beverly Hills. Kareem Winter, KTLA 5 News.